everyone, I'm Mind, and I just got a package in the mail from LEGO. Now this is something I ordered a couple of weeks ago, and it's actually an order from LEGO's Pick a Brick service. Now the current LEGO Pick a Brick is sort of a lesser version of what used to be Bricks and Pieces. Bricks and Pieces used to be a really easy way to get lots of unlicensed parts for cheap, and the new Pick a Brick is somewhat similar. There's not as much part variety, it's not as many new parts, but you can still get some really cool pieces for fairly decent prices, and recently they updated it with Summer 2022 pieces, so I got some of them here. Now it's been a few weeks since I placed this order, so I don't even remember everything I bought. I know I spent about $30, $35 total, but I always think it's fun to take a look at some of the cool pieces you can get. So let's just get it open and see what I got. All right, let's take the bag out from the inside. And there we go. You can see there's a smaller plastic bag on the inside. So we can pour this out so I can take a look at the individual pieces. So right off the bat, you can see I got a lot of Evo Mech joints, specifically the purple ones, because those only come in quite big sets, but I wanted to have them for future Evo Mech videos. If I ever want to make a custom Evo Mech with purple joints, this is a much easier way to get them. I had the same idea with the orange joints. Now, I ordered this before the Marvel Mechs were actually were revealed, so now I know there is going to be a much easier way to get the orange joints, but at the time, I thought it would be better to get them from bricks and pieces rather than buying an extra of Kai's Fire Dragon or any of the bigger sets that they come in. Got two extra yellow Evo joints, too, again, because they're not super common, and I just think they're cool color for the part and then finally to round off the evo mech pieces i got just some of the red arm because again they was only coming slightly bigger sets so i thought it'd just be nice to have a few extras in case i ever want to use those for a custom mech then you can see i have a lot of minifigure parts animals and other accessories here first there's a lot of these brown katanas these were on uh pick a brick for very cheap i know they come in lego city sets but i believe the only ninjago set they've ever come in is the lego ninjago movie collectible minifigure series nia so i wanted to get some more of them here because they are very cool colors for this part and i think it's just very nice to have brown katanas so i bought a lot here i don't know why i bought so many but yeah these are very nice to have i also got the crystallized that sphere head because for some reason that's available and i just thought that's a really cool part so I might as well get a few more of those in case i want some extras of crystallized the sphere or if i have like any mock ideas where i'd want like a stone snake statue i don't know it's just a really cool piece that they had available for not that much money also in the ninjago world they had the core pixel hair i only got one of this one because i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it but it is a very unique part and they had it available so i thought why not and finally what i believe wraps things up for ninjago pieces i got three of the plastic harumi hair and this is to simply replace the hunted harumi hair with hard plastic pieces because back in Hunter she had rubber hair which isn't the best quality I much prefer the plastic pieces so I got three because I have three of that figure but yeah that's going to be a very nice change to make then in terms of general lego pieces I got a lot of different ones here this hair piece from Jurassic World is very cool because this hair piece has existed for literally like over a decade at this point but this year was the first time they made it in this color blonde normally it's done in bright yellow and I'm not a huge fan of bright yellow as blonde this is a much more realistic blonde color so I think this is a super useful hair piece so as such I want to get quite a few of it actually yeah it looks like I got a total of four Similar note, this piece in the regular blonde. I don't think that's new for this year, but still it's way more common in the bright yellow. So that was nice to see. Speaking of bright yellow, I got the Han Solo hair in bright yellow. Oh no, I just thought that was a fun recolor. I believe it's from a Lego City set. That would be nice to have. A few more just like general use hair pieces. Again, the Han Solo hair this time in dark brown, as well as the hedgehog hair in dark brown. This, I believe, is Miss Marvel's hair piece, which is a very unique mold. But I thought it would be nice to have an extra of that. This, I think, is like a city hair piece. I don't know. I just found it kind of cool. These two hair pieces, not super uncommon, but I just wanted extras of them. This hair piece with a hat, I thought was very interesting. And then to round off the hair piece, I got a few in fun colors. This is my Sig Figs hair piece in white from the Everyone is Awesome set. This is, I believe, Tonks hair from Harry Potter. I have no clue where this pink one came from, but I thought it was pretty cool. And then this is a Lego friend hair piece and because I don't usually collect Lego friends I did not have this one but I thought it'd be nice to have then it looks like I got two minifigure heads here I don't remember which ones these were okay so first it's the Lego City head with like the snake fang mask I just thought that was very unique I feel like that can make for a cool character and then the second one is the minifigure with the hearing aid from Lego City I didn't get the set that that head came in but I thought it would be a nice head to get oh wait there's actually one more hair piece it's one of the golden hair pieces from last year's Harry Potter wave I think I just thought that would be a fun one because it is such a unique color for that piece then I got two of every color of Lego kitten because I think Lego kittens are just so adorable I didn't get any of the sets that they originally came in, but I definitely wanted to get quite a few of these guys, and I am so happy to have them here. I mean, look at them. They're just so adorable. I've been waiting all year to get these guys, and I'm so glad they're finally here. On a similar note, I got a black squirrel. That's a very cool new part from earlier this year. I really like this sparkly trans blue cat from Lego Harry Potter. I did not want to buy the full set that he came in, but I definitely won the cat piece because I just love cats and I love Lego cats. And yeah, having him in hand, this piece is absolutely awesome. Look at this. Very happy that was up with Pick a Brick. I did not expect that at all. And then I got a few more miscellaneous minifigure parts. There was this color block hoodie. Just thought that was an interesting torso design that I didn't have. The like larger Karloff fist pieces in purple. Again, I believe those are from Lego City, but that's color I did not have for them. This one's really cool. The Demogorgon Orchid piece. 
I still might get the Orchid set at some point, but I currently don't have it. But I just thought this was a really cool recolor for that set. I'm really glad they had it available because I just want to get one of it. Because, yeah, you could just stick it on top of a minifigure, and I think that's a lot of fun. Armor piece in bright orange, I don't know. I thought it was cool. And then, finally, to round things off, the shopping cart piece introduced in LEGO City earlier this year. That shopping mall set is an excellent set that is way, way, way too expensive. So, at the very least, I want to get this cart piece just to have. And, yeah, honestly, this is a fantastic mold. I really love it. Okay, and there's a quick look at everything I got. Not as big as some of my previous bricks and pieces hauls. I pretty much just placed this order because I won the Evo joints, and I wanted to meet a gift for purchase threshold. But still, I think I found some pretty interesting pieces here. Personally, I'm very excited for all those different hair pieces. I think those are a lot of fun. The yeah, sphere heads are cool. I'm excited to replace the Harumi hairs, and obviously the Evo joints are very exciting. But let me know in the comments what you think of the pieces I got. Also, let me know, have you discovered any cool rare pieces on LEGO Pick a Brick? I'm still not the biggest fan of the new system. I definitely prefer the old bricks and pieces, but luckily you can still get some cool parts on there, such as the ones I have in front of you. But yeah, this is just a short video because I like showing off my Pick a Brick hauls. I think it's fun to show you some of the parts that you can get on there. If you guys want to go check it out, it's on LEGO's website. Not sponsored or anything. I just think it's a great way to get cool minifigure parts for a lot cheaper than you would otherwise. But as for this video, I think that's about going to do it. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please press like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I do LEGO videos just like this one almost every day, so subscribe, be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.